Hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome to the Space Guys Gypsy Oracle. I'm your pilot speaking. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I don't know where we're going, but we're going somewhere. Can I get an Oracle deck? I think I want to use the Dragon Wisdom. I told y'all I need to learn the Dragon Wisdom, and I'm going to learn it. I promise you, I'm going to learn it. Because I love this deck, and I don't use it enough. I don't use it because I don't know it. <laughs> it's late I'm going to post this as soon as I uh, finish it I was like mm, should I do this for the morning nope I'm going to post this now I'm actually down here I'm actually kind of tired waiting for our snacks to be done you know what let me pull a mindfulness card my sister got me these for my birthday one year let's see and then I just took all these out they're not in order put them in the back so that I could just pull a card and get a message walk the walk I know that's right walk the walk physical movement such as running dancing or active sports brings us into the moment when our attention is resting with the body and its movements there is less room for agitating thoughts to spin us into worry. Okay, now if you worry, and it, it's telling you to get up and move. Okay, this restful but dynamic state is available all the time. And the best way to encourage it is to pull all your attention on how walking feels as you're doing it. Let yourself become the walking and enjoy how connecting and peaceful that experience can be. All right, now. Get to moving, y'all. Get to moving. I don't know where she got it from. It's 50 plus prompts and exercises for the mind and body. My kids are in the back, so you might hear like a uh, cartoon network. I think he's watching Teen Titans. Well, let me burn a piece of incense first. Clear up any negative energy swarming and swarming. All right now and I want to thank everybody for coming to visit all your likes your shares your subscribes all that is greatly appreciated and I love all of you I don't like everybody but I love everybody okay I'm gonna give my baby some allergy medicine too water chalice ooh this is all right now Scorpio I love it. I love it when you immediately come out of your own reading. Water chalice, this water energy. And this card is blue. Come on now. I know that's right. You must be stepping into your power. It's even, you might even be visiting a waterfall. I'd like to, I have to see one um, in the next state over. But they couldn't get to it because it was on private property. Wouldn't that be dope to have a waterfall on your private property? You gotta be living in the boonies to get a waterfall on your private property. That's a blessing. That's a blessing, unless you stole it. Courage. I know that's right. Courage. Ooh, this is giving um how to train your dragon energy. Remember that black dragon at the end? That was like the leader of the pack. He was the leader leader. I think he was black too. He was big and black and all of them, all the other dragons followed behind him. Yeah, you're like the leader of the pack. I know that's right. Because you're stepping into your power. You're embracing your water energy. Home. Yeah, embracing your water energy where you feel comfortable. Like I said, you could be another waterfall. You could be spending a lot of time in water. Home, a place where I belong. Universe, yes, yes. I like this. You are becoming or you are. When you become in tune with your you, you are in tune with the universe. So you are becoming in tune with your you, with who you are. Yes, you're going outside. I'm telling you, you got earth and water. You're going outside and finding water. That's what's happening. You could be by a riverbank. You could be by the ocean. You could be by like a lagoon or something. You could be going on vacation. Shoot, I know that's right. Memorial Day is tomorrow. 
don't nobody got to work. A lot of people are going to be on vacation. A lot of people are going to go to the beach. A lot of pools are opening now for the weekend. I know that's right. I know that is right. What deck was I going to use? This is my new deck. This is my newest deck right here. It's holographic. It's not as shiny as I thought it would be. But it's still shiny nonetheless. Bottom of the deck is justice. Okay. You can have a Libra in your energy or a Libra in your chart. But somehow you are getting your justice. Let me put the card down. Somebody could be giving you something that you deserve that's going to allow you to move forward. Okay. They might give this to you in secrecy. Whatever this is. Probably because other people are going to be filled in uh, betrayed once they find out that this has been given to you. It's something that you're owed because it says justice. Someone is going to give you something that is owed to you. Oh. You are going to be laying something to rest, Scorpio. There's going to be an absolute transformation or there really is going to be an ending. Someone or something is going to be laid to rest. It could be a relationship. A divine union may be severed. Somebody could be coming to get somebody. Like the Grim Reaper could be coming to get somebody. That's what it looked like. Or something, or something, or someone is being laid to rest. Let me, can I get clar clarification on this? Because I am, I, I'm a Scorpio too. And I don't shy away from, I try not to shy away from some shit. Okay? I try not to shy away from anything. Okay? It's got something to do with a house and family. Um, Whatever this is, is going to be given to you. Uh, it's sideways. It could be a house. Because I'm looking at these um I'm looking at these towers here. It could be a house, it could be a business, it could be an heirloom. Something in the family is being passed down to you in secrecy. Oh shit, is someone is someone passing? Let me get let me get let me get something else. Let me let me clarify. You're not gonna see this coming though. It's going to be unexpected. Even though I'm telling you this, it's going to be unexpected. Okay? You're going to be on the defense about receiving this. Holy Spirit, can we get a clarity on this death and four swords here? Something or someone is being laid to rest. But whatever you receive, it is your justice. You deserve it. I have another channel that I read for everybody, but that channel is like a little just just low. Like when you're inconsistent and you start reading for a good minute on your channel, um, TikTok's not going to show your videos. You're technically going to be shadow banned. So check me out over at TikTok. They just uh, they just um, edited the algorithm also. So. There's something going on with that too. Somebody be daydreaming about trying to like harm you or play some games. That's bullshit. What is this? Scorpio, you're going to be happy. But it's also going, I'm telling you, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if this is a trigger warning. Somebody's, somebody's passing. Someone or something is being laid to rest. There's going to be an unex there could be an unexpected change. There could be an unexpected uh, pregnancy. Can I get another card? It's like with life becomes death. The cycle of life, some shit like that. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know what's happening. Nine of Swords. Oh, I didn't show you the Sun card. Okay. Something will also be exposed as well that will cause um, an unexpected change. Scorpio, you're out here twice. 
you are the tower and you are the death card okay so you could be laying something to rest you could be uprooting whatever this is i'm trying to tell you we got something to do with like a house or something because here's a tower these two towers here there's these two towers here right these two towers here some sort of building this tower here this is also a home and this tower here this has something to do with some sort of building Maybe someone's gifting you a house. Someone could be gifting you a house after they've been laid to rest. You deserve this. You deserve this. No, baby, turn it down, please. What is this interference? What is this third party? It's in reverse. So there's going to be people that are trying to interfere with whatever this is. Um, I don't know what the fuck is going on here. Someone could be coming in with communication with a contract. There could be interference, people trying to convince you. Um, hold on. Hold on, hold on, y'all. All right, sorry about that. Oh, there's two cards here. Hold on. Sorry, I did not see this card. What's happening here? Okay, so you're going to be walking away from some sort of interference or some 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 sort of third party interference. Okay. Um, someone could have been trying to bind you. Dope, beautiful, and single. Yeah, you could end up walking away from some sort of faulty foundation. Someone tried to bind you. Damn, what is happening here? I feel like I'm all discombobulated and mixed up. What is this? There could also be a pregnancy here. An unexpected pregnancy. That is going to uproot a foundation. That may unbind you. Because look at how I put these cards down. This is the tower and the eight of eight of cups. I'm sorry. The tower and the eight of cups, they're like this. That's the sun card and the three of swords. With the three of swords, this is giving baby or this is giving an exposure of a third party. Which is going to uproot a faulty foundation that you thought that you may have been bound to. Okay, now, Scorpio. Oh. What is this? Three of Cups. Huh. That's so funny. I got, yeah, I got the um, run the world in my mind. So this is a show. Excuse me. It is a show I wanted to watch about single women. One of them was actually supposed to be getting married, but she cheated and he left her. But this is giving me that energy, like run the world, sisters, um sex in the city energy right here okay so it's like after you may be a little sad after whatever this is but not really if you're married and you end up getting a divorce 
Yeah, this is a betrayal. It fell on the third party here. Ten of Swords. I told you it was going to be a betrayal. If you, um... If you end up, like, divorcing this person, if you're married, don't get marriage. But either way, maybe you get, um... I don't know what state you're in, but I know common law. You could be in a common law relationship or some shit like that. And you may end up going to court because it is on top of the justice card. You may end up going to court with this person. And you may end up just celebrating your divorce. And you could also be receiving money for this shit. Y'all could have been in a common law state if you weren't actually legally married. And you can take this person to court and get your... Um, yeah, is that what's being laid to rest? A relationship? And then you're going to end up going on vacation by the water, connecting with the universe, moving forward. You might even get a house. Damn. Okay, now. It took me a minute, but I got it. It took me a minute, but I got it. They be giving me these stories in fragments. I got to put the pieces together my damn self. Shit. I'm tired though. I want to go lay down. It's almost 9 49. What? What? I don't even have the internet up. Let's see. If it comes up in time, I'll, I'll look it up. Wheel of Fortune. It's going on top of this Ace of Pentacles right in the center. You deserve this happiness. And what is this? Is this. What is this fighting? What is this arguing? You're going to be fighting. You might end up, this This person might even have you fighting with other people or had you fighting with other people or some shit like that with this, um, with this Wheel of Fortune over here behind. It's on it, but it's like behind it on top of the Three of Swords. I was not led to put it in front of it. I was led to put it behind it where it is right here in the Wheel of Fortune right here. Yeah. Now let's see what's in front of it. I'm sorry. I can feel like a piece of hair going back. <laughs> it's like tingling. I really like these cards. I wish they were like PVC cards like the gold ones. I'm probably going to pick up the PVC cards and do some more. Re yep. I know it. Ten of Cups. That's your ultimate happiness. You deserve this shit. There could have been a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, but that shit's going to be over and done with, okay? And you're going to be happy because you deserve to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy. I need some water. Nine, four, nine. Oh, that's one. Four, nine. Angel number. Yeah, we pulled up nine, four, nine. We get, we not, we get nine, four, nine a lot. Baby, turn that down just a little bit, my love. Give me the month before, too. Let me do it. I think I slept already. I think I finished sleeping. I need the month before now. I'm tired, y'all. <sighs> yep. Because you're going to decide to take a leap of faith, a calculated risk, okay? A risk towards what you know that's going to make you happy. A risk towards your happiness. And you're going to receive, look, oh my goodness, you're going to receive confirmation that you did the right thing from the divine, okay? You're going to receive confirmation. And you are going to be rewarded by the divine with the things that you love and the things that you desire. Oh, that's right. This is nice. Let me get one more card. I don't think I'm going to um, pull the other cards. I'm just going to um, pull these and see what they say. We're going to eat. Look, here we go. Okay, baby. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, the sun card. This is happiness and a victory. Yes, I do look at the bottom of the deck because I shuffle my cards and clear out the energy before I um, 
Look at that. You're going to have an emperor come in. Ooh, see? Came out again. This is God. I told y'all. This is God. I shuffle them cards. Definitely. And he coming out right again. The most high. Protecting you. Letting you know it's, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> it's okay to close out these cycles. Yep. It's okay to close... It's okay to close out these cycles. Be strong. Be strong when it comes to freeing yourself from these bindings. Here you go, Scorpio. You didn't fell out my hands. You came out again in your reading. I love to see it because you're stepping into your power. That's why. You're stepping into your power and you're walking away from this shit. What is it? Oh, just look. I dropped. Oh, look. We're getting the same cards here. I, the justice card right here. You're not going to see it though. You've been manifesting this. You've been manifesting your justice. You've been manifesting your justice. This is the back. Oh, oh shit. Someone's going to be feeling left out in the cold. You could be leaving a house. Somebody could be leaving a home, a stable situation, or what you thought was a stable situation that you were leaving behind. Okay? To get your justice. You're manifesting. You was in doubt. Or you are in doubt. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Be patient. Let's see. I'm going to read these and see what they say. It says have patience. Okay. You're going to get what you need. It's part of your fate and destiny. Even though you can't see it. What is this? It's a lot of people. There's a lot of people that were trying to create um, illusions. There, these were the interferences. Yep, these were the interferences. A king of wands. Could be a fire sign. A queen of swords. Could be an air sign. And it could be a higher fan. It could be like a Taurus. Or a guru. Or someone who holds some sort of high position somewhere. They could be a preacher. Or some sort of spiritual leader. Or um, this could be like a judge. Or some shit like that. That were casting illusions on you. Could even be like a group of people. That were casting illusions on you. I don't know what the fuck. But she was like trying to have you. You you had to defend you. I see 2244. You had to defend yourself. Yep. 949 means uh, compassion, strength, and hope. You have the attitude of a winner. I mean, what did I say? It was 2244. You had to defend yourself against these people. I don't feel good. Maybe because I'm hungry. Ouch. Oh, excuse me. Alright, I'm about to be done here. This is long. Strong faith, optimism, and determination. Oh, no, that's right. Stay strong. You're going to get your happiness. Alright? Stay determined. Alright? Queen of Pentacles, you could be the one that's pregnant. Come on, baby. Did it. I'm going to put it on the charger in a little bit. I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one pregnant, okay? What is this? Six of Cups. Someone, it was someone from your past, someone you grew up with was trying to betray you. If they wanted to come in, they wanted to give you an offer, act like they wanted to work with you, or they're going to, a cancer, and that's you're going to walk away. They could be like a cancer for real, like a cancer in your energy, or like a thorn in your side. And you're going to have a new beginning that you're going to be happy with. You could even get a new divine lover because you decided to take a leap of faith. I know that's right. Look at that. We got the story before. We keep getting it. A new divine lover. Okay? That's going to be your counterpart. That's all I got for you. That's all I got. Don't be scared. 
don't be scared. If you got people out here not doing you right, keep the faith. Stay determined. Stay optimistic. Believe in whoever it is that you believe in. Whatever higher power that is that you believe in. Okay? And know that they will always come through and provide for you. May not be on your time. But remember how the planets move. That's how things need to be shifted into place before things can happen. Okay? You want things to happen at the right time. Not the wrong time. Okay? The right season. And that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. And I hope you guys have the most beautiful day.